The following is a presentation of the Madison Square Garden Network. MSG, we're all over. Alan Houston was on a mission Tuesday night, providing liftoff for a team without its captain and payback to a rocket team that had fueled a fire since their last meeting, which Houston won in a blowout. Here is Houston. Yes. Houston putting the move on Livingston and hitting. Houston for three. Oh, he's been on fire. Houston burned the Rockets for 28, leaving Barkley bumming and Ewing elated. Houston was also hot in another Texas city, San Antonio, providing a personal 10-point run and putting the Knicks to a 17-point victory over the Spurs. Coming up, New York, San Antonio, and a man who digs playing Texas. Network welcomes you live to the world's most famous arena. And tonight, the finale in the two-game season series between the New York Knicks and the San Antonio Spurs. A quick check of the NBA's Midwest Division tells you the sad tale of San Antonio. In the absence of their injured star, David Robinson, they're 11 and 33. They come into the Garden losers of five consecutive games. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic, the Knicks definitely will want to keep pace with the Miami Heat. 33 and 14 is two games worse than 35 and 12. Good evening, everybody. I'm Al Trowick. Welcome to our coverage of the Knicks here on MSG. Well, there are many teams in the NBA having injury problems, and the two teams you'll see tonight, no different. The Knicks will miss Patrick Ewing for a fourth consecutive game. His pulled groin is so bad, he'll also miss the All-Star game this weekend in Cleveland. Meanwhile, David Robinson has been on the injured list twice. He's played only six games this year, and so we do not have the center-center matchup that is so much anticipated when the Knicks usually take on San Antonio. Still, lots of good players on the floor tonight. For more on that, we go to Marv Albert and Johnny Hoops. All right, thank you, Al. And uh, John, of most significance, looking back at Tuesday night's game here uh, against the Rockets with Patrick Ewing out of the lineup uh, once again. The Nick go-to guy was Allen Houston, and he was very successful. Had a very a strong game as the man, particularly in the fourth quarter. And then looking back to that earlier meeting in mid-January in San Antonio against the Spurs, Allen Houston had a very, very strong ball game. Yes, that was the game he decided to play, as he said, more like John Stone and be more aggressive with the with the uh, seeking of the basketball from his teammates and driving the ball more to the basket. But the other night against Houston he was on fire as you mentioned Marvin in the fourth quarter actually the whole second half he killed the Rockets with this kind of shooting and uh, boy if you don't get a hand in his face quickly it's two points the way he's shooting the ball these days a tremendous all around game in 39 minutes against the Rockets 28 points 9 of 16 from the field his three point shooting was on but that dramatic foul shooting in the uh, closing minute of that game when he was six for six really typified the excellence and importance he brought to the game and as you can see over 18 a game also over the last 11 games for Allen Houston so he's been on a nice tear and as Al uh, touched on the San Antonio Spurs have uh, just been ripped up by an amazing number of injuries uh, the record is 11 and 33 and uh, they've lost their last five that's their latest uh, losing streak but one of the, the few bright spots on this ball club recently, the play of uh, the man they call Mad Max, Vernon Maxwell. Yes, he is so physically talented, and on occasions he can have huge nights, as the Knicks have found out in the past against Sacramento earlier. A couple of games ago, he was on fire, moving the ball well to the basket. He can explosively drive to the hoop, and he can also shoot the three-point shots, as the Sixers found out last night. And that loss he's had big games here as a member of the Rockets and the Sixers over the last three games the numbers have been very impressive for Vernon Maxwell and he also comes off a 22 point effort against the Knicks in their earlier meeting in January. All right so coming up the second and final meeting of the regular season the New York Knicks and the San Antonio Spurs will be back with the lineups right after this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you all right, sir? Isn't that heavenly? I don't smell anything. Precisely. Because Delta is the first US airline to fly totally smoke-free worldwide. So it's clear skies anywhere you go. <sighs> Are you hyperventilating? No, I'm English. could not deny the RAV4 our top ranking. The RAV4 breaks expected molds. The RAV4 rides a great deal better than many a sedan. Handling in both RAV4 models is excellent. The all new RAV4 recreational activity vehicle starts at only 15,118. Maybe we should start calling it the RAV4. Driving it is great fun. We've heard from many people who love our Diet Snapple flavors, but don't think there's enough around. Ideas, anyone? Make a store that sells only Diet Snapple? Welcome to Diet Snapple Town, the store that carries only Diet Snapple. Diet Peach Ice Tea Aisle 7, Diet Kiwi Strawberry Aisle 10, Diet Cranberry Raspberry Aisle 8, Diet... Will you be using your Diet Snapple preferred shoppers card? Yes. Thanks for the idea. Diet Snapple, making the best stuff on Earth a little easier to enjoy. Bart and I are going to make you real happy. Right, Bart? Right, Phil. We're going to save you a lot of money. Right, Bart? Right, Phil. How? Whiz bucks, Bart. Giant size savings from Nobody Beats the Whiz. Giant size savings, Phil? Over $2,000, Bart. TVs, camcorders, computers, audio components, cameras, cellular phones, music and movies. Just cut out the whiz bucks and save money. Right, Phil? Right, Bart. Whiz bucks, a giant size way of saying Nobody Beats the Whiz. New York Knicks basketball is brought to you by Brewery Fresh Budweiser, who reminds you fresh beer tastes better. By the American Express card. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, American Express helps you do more. By Delta Airlines. You'll love the way we fly. By Citibank. For banking anytime, anywhere, any way you choose. At Citibank, the city never sleeps. And by Nobody Beats the Whiz Home Entertainment Centers. Back of the garden, the New York Knicks with four wins the last five games, 16 of the last 17 here at home, getting set to face the San Antonio Spurs. And uh, we remind you that close captioning is brought to you by Empire Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the best of health. And we are now set for the introduction of the starting lineups. Now for the Spurs starting lineup at guard at 5'11 from Southern, number six, Avery Johnson. At guard at 6'4 from Florida, number 11, Vernon Maxwell. At forward at 6'7 from Notre Dame, number three, Monty Williams. At forward at 6'9 from Houston, number seven, Carl Herrera. And at center at 6'10 from Houston, number 33, Greg Anderson. Will Perdue and Sean Elliott will not play due to injury.
So Buck Williams making his second straight start at the center for the injured Patrick Ewing. For the Knicks and the Spurs, it is the finale before the All-Star break. Our Michael Kay had talked about this with Nick coach Jeff Van Gundy and asked him about the ramifications of the four-day respite. I don't think uh, being off three or four days helps you as a team usually because I think it just sort of softens you up and takes away from uh, some of the improvements you've made. Just like in, before the Charlotte game, we had three days off, and I don't think that's natural for an NBA player. But I do believe for ourselves right now, we're banged and bumped, and this will be good for our team if we can come back on the 11th in Washington and play as well as we have been playing. That's always the big if, but uh, Jeff feels that uh, his team could use a little momentary blow, and that's what they're going to get with All-Star Weekend. The officials, N.T. Rush, David Jones, Tim Donahue, as you may have picked up on the uh, public address, Sean Elliott, a uh, late scratch, remaining on the bench, John in Sibbies. He caused some tendonitis uh, in his knee, so the former Nick Monty Williams, who started against the Knicks in the game in San Antonio, is in the uh, starting lineup. So uh, another injury being suffered here by by the Spurs. Will Purdue is uh, also out. He's been out with an eye problem. This now six straight games. When he returns, he will wear a face mask, and uh, you'll see Carl Herrera, who was in the starting lineup, playing with a face mask protecting a broken nose. This is as depleted a professional basketball team that you will ever see. So it will be interesting to see how the Knicks respond if they can keep their focus and concentration and play with a disciplined style. Larry Johnson. And rebounded by Monty Williams. But as was discussed at the uh, the start of the telecast despite that record of 11 and 33 despite all the problems they do have a legitimate shot to make the playoffs when David Robinson returns that because of the the weak situation out of the West Avery Johnson and back comes Chris Childs. Yes David Robinson has been given the green light to start working out soon soon meaning within a week or so and then it'll take a while before he gets certainly in game shape. A minute gone by with no score in the game in San Antonio not one of the thrillers of the season the Knicks beat the Spurs 94 77 that was January the 15th at the time it made it six straight losses for the Spurs Cadillac Anderson lost it the save by Oakland. Yes in that game in San Antonio the Knicks were coming off that very disappointing performance against Houston the night before so they were still a little uh, shell shock. That's Chris Childs and that's a three point shot. Chris Childs coming off a six for 12 14 points against the Rockets the other night but fouled out and Jeff Van Gundy has been uh, talking to uh, Chris as Monty Williams not able to hit off that lead pass about uh, picking up some of those unnecessary fouls. Yes those particularly out toward half court and I believe as I recall the other night as Chris turns the ball over now that uh, that's where his sixth foul came uh, in an area where his opponent really wasn't in a position to hurt him but he's so naturally aggressive he just get, got caught up. And he fouled out with much time remaining in the game but uh, Charlie Ward uh, came on as part of the uh, three guard offense and the Knicks played well and were able to go on to beat the uh, Rockets 99 95. Well broken nose or not Carl Herrera always hurts the Knicks. He is a guy who has been a very difficult matchup at 6'9", 225 pounds. Boy, we can recall in the championship run that the Knicks had with Houston in 94. That's uh, Monty Williams getting fouled after that Knicks turnover. Monty going strong to the basket. Carl Herrera meant an awful lot to the success of the Houston Rockets against the Knicks in that championship run and uh, he really made himself uh, enhanced I should say his reputation as uh, Monty Williams gets fouled on that play as you see. Monty Williams originally a number one pick of the Knicks dealt to uh, San Antonio in the deal involving Charles Smith J.R. Reed Brad Lowhouse last February. Monty Williams uh, has been a disappointment 
in his third season out of Notre Dame. The Knicks three, the Spurs two. Houston off the pick. He's being played by Maxwell, who's a good defensive player. Give and go did not work. And here is Monty Williams. Hit on a reach in and he'll head back to the line. Money was moving very well as he came down court handling the basketball. Went to the crossover dribble and got tied up. Well they say non shooting foul so the Spurs will throw it in. San Antonio with five straight losses last night in Philadelphia. Lost to the Sixers 113 to 97. The last win for San Antonio January 24th a 10 point victory over the Dallas Mavericks. Here's Maxwell for three. Herrera on the offensive glass. Herrera and the Spurs lead by one. None of the Knicks gave Herrera a look after that shot went up so uh, his good jumping ability resulted in him getting that hoop. Now Houston played by Williams. Jeff Van Gundy screaming out for the illegal defense which is called moments later because Avery Johnson had his foot below the foul line while his man was above the circle so he was kind of trying to clog the middle in case a drive took place. So that's the first violation. New 24 for the Knicks Buck Williams. And Childs let it go deflected out by Johnson. Charles Oakley who had a good ball game against the uh, Rockets to the chagrin of Charles Barkley was sidelined sending it out but reacting to uh, every shot that uh, Oakley hit 16 points in all for Oakley with 10 rebounds the other night. Maxwell with the change of direction the pass picked off by Childs. He has Houston with him. Childs all the way. And fired a brick. See the scattering report on Houston to stay close to him as Avery Johnson did, not allowing Allen Houston to shoot the ball. Buck Williams was fouled. He'll shoot a pair. Foul on Carl Herrera. There is the face mask protecting the broken nose of Herrera. The only player in the NBA out of Venezuela played in the Olympic and Pan American Games for Venezuela. Carl Herrera in his sixth season from the University of Houston. As we mentioned earlier one time Houston Rocket four years with the Rockets. This is second year with San Antonio. Fine free throw shooting here at the start at both ends. Spurs with a 4 3 lead. Childs hit the deck. Felt he was pushed. Herrera. Good catch by uh, Larry Johnson. That pass was slightly off the mark. And it draws the foul. Well, with the Knicks' superior rebounding. Big time in this game, they should be able to unleash a lot of fast breaks. And this is one right now with Chris Giles handing that ball off to Larry Johnson, who gets it a little high but makes something out of it as he gets fouled. Second personal on Herrera. And here comes Dominique Wilkins replacing. Carl Herrera Dominic uh, Wilkins had been out 10 games with a knee injury made his return a couple of weeks back 37 years old and uh, he has uh, been one of the San Antonio Spurs positives uh, this season he's averaged 19 points seven rebounds playing about 30 minutes per game you know Marv these days he's giving them dignity I mean there are reasons for people to come and watch the Spurs play uh, to some degree because of his presence. Oakley with the steal. Oakley all the way and pushed from behind. Foul on Maxwell. And Oakley to the foul line. 
Well anticipated play by Oakley. As you can see, Monty Williams doesn't come to get that basketball, and Charles just keeps going because he beat everybody down court. Timeout is taken with 7.20 remaining in this first quarter. Look out as Scott Brooks lands on our line. You're watching MSG Network. We're all over it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm practicing my moves <laughs> for the NBA team up celebration. But you're not performing. I'm not? I don't think so, Ahmad. I'm performing. Live on February 8th, the NBA team up celebration show hosted by Ahmad Rashad and Willow Bay with performances from Shaq, Groove Theory, and Quad City DJs. Appearances by LL Cool J, Brandy, Grant Hill, and a host of all stars. Saturday, February 8th, 12 noon Eastern. Check your local listings. You don't want to miss this one. You want to talk about the web? Let's talk about Jack Web. You want to tell us a little more about that? Let's talk about security on the web. You know there are over 50 million people on the web? And they're not all nice. Liars, cheats. Hackers, snoops. Con men. Your competition. What's your point? You want to keep the bad guys out, but you want to let the good guys in, right? You got it all worked out. Not me personally, but some software guys. Let's have the name, son. Guy is hysterical. Jim Carrey is a comic genius. Silence of the land. Don't you? Once he gets plugged in, there's no stopping him. Oh, Billy! <laughs> Jim Carrey, Matthew Broderick, the Cable Guy. Playing this month on Direct Ticket, only on Direct TV. Remember when you're having good times with good friends to drink responsibly because friends know when to say when. A reminder from your friends at Budweiser. Charles Oakley at the foul line off the steal fouled on the on the drive. Knicks have hit only one of six from the field the Spurs two of six. Charles on a good roll the last five games. We mentioned the uh, game Tuesday night against Houston 21 rebounds against Charlotte on Sunday afternoon. That's a Nick season high. Very nice numbers by by Oakley who has had another solid season. Yes, that 21 uh, rebound effort the other day against Charlotte was a season high, and the scoring is very impressive uh, for Charles Oakley. Certainly up a few notches. Illegal defense, Illegal defense. against the Knicks, so that is their first infraction. The Knicks with a 7-4 lead, five minutes in, first quarter. Avery Johnson, Vernon Maxwell in the backcourt. Dominique Wilkins, Monty Wilson, Cadillac Anderson up front. And last touch by Wilkins. The Knicks here at the Garden have won 20 and lost five. They have taken 16 of the last 17. At one point, 15 straight wins. They lost to Charlotte to end that on Sunday. Nice move by Johnson and then rejected by Anderson. Johnson again. So the Knicks now lead 9-4. The Spurs with no big man to throw that ball into down low. So their offense starts on the perimeter and they keep that middle open hoping to get penetration or good jump shooting. That's a travel on Monty Williams. San Antonio Spurs following the All-Star break resume next Tuesday in Dallas then three straight at home. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, they hope to welcome back. David Robinson has been out with the foot injury. Here's Larry Johnson. He got bottled up. Not pretty, but uh, Wilkins got it to Williams. David Robinson missed the first 18 games of the season with a lower back strain. That played in six games and injured his foot. And uh, for Robinson, that's been it. He's played only six games this season. Yes, broke a bone in his foot. That's Alan Houston. And then had an operation. 
to uh, put it back together and uh, he's working his way back slowly but it is amazing how this this team even despite their poor record right now of 11 33 can anticipate a playoff run. That's why there have been two schools of thought San Antonio's Monty Williams uh, hits Rick Popovich who took over after he fired Bob Hill Popovich the general manager of the team in fact his record now eight up and uh, 18 down this is 27th game since taking over from from Hill there is uh, one philosophical thought that uh, they should just keep Robinson out the rest of the way and play to get into the lottery. You know, and Greg Popovich with his job on the line. Not to say the players are going to lose on purpose, but obviously it decreases the uh, ability or the chances of this team making a playoff run if uh, Robinson is not on the floor. But uh, others say, well, Popovich wants to keep his job, wants to make the playoffs. It's all very strange to me, Marv. That was an odd firing of Bob Hill, who had done a very good job for his two years there in San Antonio, record wise, certainly, because he had a healthy David Robinson. Monty Williams with, with a nice breakup of that lead pass intended for Larry Johnson. But uh, Hill didn't have Robinson this year and ironically got fired the day he came back. And uh, it, it just seemed to be a very personal observation uh, resulting in his firing. I think the feeling was that the team wasn't playing defense better. But still it's so hard to judge a San Antonio Spurs team without David Robinson fairly because he means so much to this team. Buck Williams taking a buff but able to hit a strong drive by Buck. You know it's amazing. Why wasn't there a whistle on that play? It seemed so clear that there was contact on the shot. Knicks with a 13-8 lead. Vinny Del Negro handling for the first time just came on. Wilkins watched by Oakley. Oh, Dominic sweeping by. Not bad for a guy 37 years of age. <laughs> Charles Oakley might want to rethink his defensive stance on the next opportunity Dominique has. And a holding foul called by Tim Donahue. It is on Wilkins. A pretty nice year for the uh, the Wilkins brothers. Gerald has done a good job coming off the bench uh, for the most part now but was a starter in Orlando and with all the injuries suffered by the Magic. Timeout call. Knicks lead by three. W1 by Raymond Weil. The cutting edge in time. Time for the next generation. W1 by Raymond Weil. He didn't want to be tied to a desk. When he started his business, he was already looking 20 years ahead. When you're 25, who takes the long view? Or finds a broker who actually asks, where do you want to be? Your business becomes your life. I know that now. He knew it then. And I have a feeling he's still looking 20 years ahead. How's he doing it? More research, insight, understanding. Payne Weber, invest with more intelligence. The body has been hidden. The killer's identity has been concealed. Two men know the truth. One is a master thief. The other is the most powerful man in the world. Clint Eastwood. Opens everywhere February 14th. Greg Popovich, the executive vice president, basketball operations, general manager, and now head coach of the uh, San Antonio Spurs. Moments ago, we were talking about his situation, and uh, earlier, Michael Kay talked with Popovich and asks, uh, asked if he feels his job is on the line. 
that's not a consideration to me. Uh, if I was worried about those sorts of things, I would have never done something as crazy as take on both jobs. So uh, my, my worry is to work hard at practice, to try to improve the team. Uh, hopefully we'll get some players back. Uh, but what happens to me personally down the road is not something I can spend a whole lot of time worrying about right now. Expected response from uh, Greg Popovich who has a lot of responsibility now to try and make something out of this team and only the return of David Robinson will determine his success. And the foul called with 306 remaining in this first quarter Vinny Del Negro picking up his first it puts the Spurs over the foul limit and Allen Houston at the line Allen Houston the other night against the Rockets with six clutch free throws down the stretch 28 points for Houston the high man 17 of the 28 coming in the fourth quarter. The Knicks with a 15 10 lead. For the Knicks, it is the finale of a three game homestand after the NBA All Star break. They will be in Washington. Oh, Dominic Wilkins with another quick move. I mean, 37 years of age, and Charles Oakley knew it was coming because he just saw a similar move, only that one was in the middle moments ago. So he was ready, so give Dominic credit. For a spectacular drive, and how about that pass from Charles Oakley to Larry Johnson? The Knicks 17, and the Spurs 12. Johnson with six points, 2:25 to go in this first quarter. Marv Albert with John Andres, Al Troutway from Madison Square Garden. Del Negro looking for the screen. Double team. They let uh, Anderson. But Anderson uh, off the hook down low, and then uh, Johnson is able to hit that uh, running bank shot on the hook. That was quite a move, but the hesitation at the beginning of the move really got him loose and got him free. Nicely done by Avery Johnson. Mix by three, just under two minutes left in the quarter. But Williams from Chris Childs. There's Oakley, fouled, held by, by Anderson. And John Starks getting set to check in. Well, moments ago, Dominique went baseline, no help, and he flew and soared with a very characteristic after all these years, Dominique move. Seventh leading scorer in NBA history. Charles Oakley. Looking for his third point. And there's John Starks, who was a question mark to play against the Rockets because of the uh, shoulder problem. Went out and scored 14 points, although shot only 5 of 17. But Jeff Van Gundy said after the game he, he just appreciated the fact that uh, John Starks was able to handle the, the pain and went out there and played. There's no sign of let up for John Starks with injury. He just plays as hard as he does when he's fully healthy. Oh, the tip. Beautiful move by Monty Williams. Getting it right off the fingertips. And the Knicks now lead 18 16. Starks trying to shake off Del Negro and was held. And with the Spurs over the foul limit, John Starks to the line. John is wisely sticking to the early move being a drive move. Get his game going by driving the ball. Something the coaching staff has been. Working with him upon a long time rather than coming out and firing long jumpers much easier when you get the confidence of making shots around the basket or drawing a foul as he just did. John Starks has had an outstanding season last three games with the uh, Ewing out he's averaged 21 a game but John has been doing it off the bench throughout the season. Chris Gatling is uh, the leading point getter in that department off the bench in fact he's headed to the all star game and Dominique at 17 point four followed by Del Curry John Starks and Danny Manning. Yes Gatling is replacing uh, Shaquille O'Neal who was pulled up lame for the all star game. And that all rhymes John very clever in your part. Funny how it flows. Dominique Wilkins with the floater. 
The basket counts and the foul. Dominique is putting on a display in this first quarter. Starks called for the foul and Wilkins to the line. As Charles Oakley uh, took a pass this time on guarding him, Larry Johnson gets a taste now of Dominique going right. He's gone right twice now and left once. And it's all positive with the results. Knicks by one as we come up on one minute left in the first quarter. John Wallace is on the floor for the first time as Larry Johnson. Well, tonight, Larry Johnson very much into the offense early. There is nothing to fear for the Knicks driving the ball to the basket tonight. Cadillac Anderson is a big guy, but he's invisible for a man his size. Monty Williams able to get that rebound. Here's Maxwell hitting the three. Vernon Maxwell with his first field goal, and he's tied the game at 21. Half minute left in the first. Johnson played by Wilkins who gets help Starks Johnson Oakley and a loose ball foul push out on Larry Johnson pounded the ball to the floor and is fortunate Ed T. Rush not looking in that direction Larry uh, playing the role and treated uh, as Ewing would be treated getting the double team immediately when he gets the ball down low so he's been forced to give it up Patrick Ewing sitting out his fourth straight game with that strained groin injury Dominique Wilkins also shooting well at the line coming into tonight at 81 percent he is 0 for 2 and the Spurs have missed their first four Free throws. Allen Houston is back, replacing Larry Johnson. Eight points for Johnson. So that's the first successful foul shot by the Spurs, and they take a one-point lead. Final seconds, first quarter. Houston got the step. Allen Houston off the drive, mixed by one. Two and nine tenth seconds to go. Avery Johnson. Square off the 24 second clock. After one here at Madison Square Garden, the next 23 and the Spurs 22. Hotline, what's your problem? We're stuck with skunky beer. So it's not Budweiser. No. Remain calm, sir. We're on our way. Next time, look for this. New Born On Dating from Budweiser, because fresh beer tastes better. Fresh is hotline. Could we order some Chinese? Many of you are getting the AT&T One Rate Plan. I just got that plan. I'm with that dime plan. It's not a dime all the time to everyone, you know. It's not? No, only one person. But what about everybody else? 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. weekdays, it's a quarter. It's so complicated. Well, the AT&T One Rate Plan is very simple. How simple? Calls from home, one low rate to anybody in America, anytime, no restrictions. I'm switching to AT&T. All right, so we're making a little progress. No restrictions, no games. The AT&T One Rate Plan. Clint Eastwood. He's gonna run my cow. Then what? Then I kill him. That's entirely unacceptable. Absolute power. Rated R. Opens everywhere February 14th. Neither rain, nor mud, nor ruts and ridges, nor rocks and rivers, nor sleet, nor snow shall keep a new Toyota 4Runner from keeping you from your appointed rounds. Power you need, and all the room and comfort you want. And with a starting price around $20,000, it could take your dollar even further. New York Knicks basketball is brought to you in part by American Express. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, American Express helps you do more. By Foot Locker, where it all begins. And by Toyota. I love what you do for me, Toyota. 
This past weekend in Honolulu, Hawaii, Lance Alstead of New York City captivated everyone's imagination and attention when he kicked a 35-yard field goal at halftime of the Pro Bowl between the AFC and the NFC. A fantasy and $1 million. And not only that, you get seat one, row one at Madison Square Garden. That's a pretty a good deal. Game, and it's a great game so far. Now, the one thing I wanted to know, how many people did you have to beat out or the, the whole process to get the chance to make the kick? There were four people originally selected that would have to compete in a, uh, in a preliminary skills contest down in Miami at Pro Player Stadium where you had to kick a, uh, several kicks. Each of the kicks were a lot of certain amount of points. The winner of that obviously was the grand prize winner. One person was selected. That was me to go to Honolulu. Now the buzz is that the, the City Hawks indoor arena football franchise here at the Garden would like to have you kick for them. Have, has anyone contacted you? Um, well, we had some preliminary discussion. Really? Well, we just talked about the concept of the game itself, and it was explained to me what exactly the arena football is and what they do and uh, and you know I haven't really discussed whether I would be interested in doing that or not but it uh, it sounds very appealing it, it sounds you know it sounds like a lot of fun well I know you lost it that day hope you enjoy the money tonight on David Letterman I guess he took you out on 53rd Street and had you kick a field goal That's tell us right. whether you make it or not okay well you'll have to tune in and see oh, I can't give out the information now too many people are betting on it oh, all right Lance congratulations My good pleasure. to see you take care bye bye now all right, Mark back to you we'll have to watch Dave tonight all right thank you uh, Al another nice move by Dominic Wilkins uh, a moment ago and the uh, the Spurs get it back for the next their fifth turnover four committed by San Antonio Spurs 10 of 19 from the uh, from the field in the uh, first quarter Knicks seven for 18 Al is hovering with Lance I think he's getting the answer Marv <laughs> what a poised young man both uh, on the field and uh, here at Madison Square Garden Oh, Dominic Wilkins again is playing at a different speed here tonight than the rest of the players and uh, Oakley is called for the foul Lance uh, protecting David Letterman show tonight not revealing the the outcome of the uh, the kick as we watch uh, Dominique Wilkins take it to the basket once again Dominique has emerged as a, a stronger threat to the Knicks as he has ever been in his career while visiting Madison Square Garden he's a major problem and this looms of course, you look at this game and a matchup and the situation, and you say, you know the Knicks are going to win. The question is, what's the score going to be? But right now, it's a problem. Oh, <laughs> we know the Knicks are. Have you seen this? Uh, yeah, have you seen this movie? You got to assume that. I mean, this Spurs team is is depleted. I mean, it's it's a joke. But as we have seen, Jim, oh, I know, I know. Occasions, you're right. It's the likely scenario. Oh, but if uh, you don't take a game like this seriously. Uh, you can blow it. I mean, no will Purdue. <laughs> Should I stop there? Is that enough? There's John Wallace. Well, the Spurs are up 26 to 23. And they have Jamie Fike getting set to report in, John. And he's actually played well as of late. Looking from uh, Michigan State. Anderson able to keep it alive. Maxwell. They're looking around, and Avery Johnson. Three sets now being played by Charlie Ward. It's Ward with Starks and Childs in a three guard alignment for the Knicks. Nice setup. Johnson for Wilkins. Monty Williams as the Spurs control the offensive board. Avery Johnson. Here's Wallace. The San Antonio lead is one. John Wallace ran the court well. That's the greatest part of that play for the Knicks. His speed getting down court. Allen Houston also getting set to return. Oh, Anderson heaving one to row four. People ducking for cover. Out of some guy's head. Good look uh, at the Knicks last break. That's a Marriott Marquis. Look at the uh, Marriott Marquis sky cam. A nice finish by John Wallace. The New York Marriott Marquis, Broadway's biggest hit. Substitutions, Allen Houston. Returning for the Knicks, Corey Alexander comes on for the first time along with Andy Fife. 
hand the ball to the San Antonio Spurs. Another Nick turnover. Spurs lead by one. Corey Alexander handling second year player from Virginia. Here's Wilkins. And foul. Foul committed by Buck Williams. Knicks have to start thinking of putting a better effort into denying Dominique Wilkins the ball. Playing him without the basketball before he gets the ball. And uh, because Dominique right now is carrying this team offensively. And you can see when he gets any room around the basket, I mean, he's still got explosiveness in his legs, his 37 year old legs. Dominique. Wilkins, the seventh player in NBA history to reach the 26,000 point plateau. 22nd time out of the goal. Now look at the list. Led by Kareem Abdul Jabbar, better than 38,000, followed by Wilt Chamberlain, Moses Malone, the Big E, Elvin Hayes, Oscar Robertson, John Havlicek, and there is Dominique with 26,036, averaging 19 a game this season. And as you look at all those names, it's clear that he is the highest scoring active NBA player with uh, Michael Jordan uh, moving up closely on Dominique. John, earlier this season, he moved by Alex English to take over seventh place in the total points. Alex English among uh, several new inductees the other day for the Basketball Hall of Fame. So next up is uh, John Havlicek in sight. He'll pass ha uh, Hondo. And the uh, 50 top 50 announcement, top 50 players of all time that took place a couple of months ago did not include Dominique, seventh leading scorer of all time. Did not include uh, the recent Hall of Fame honoree Alex English. Starks strong drive by John Starks digging in and taking it to the hoop. Ward went for the steal, almost picked it off. The game is tied at 27 with three minutes gone by in the second quarter. Here at the Garden, the Knicks have won the last four against San Antonio, seven of the uh, last eight. They split uh, the two games last season. A fling by Maxwell. And Wallace's pass in a crowd picked off by Alexander. Monty Williams, nice pass. Fight was stopped, stopped again. Consecutive blocks by the Knicks. That was Wallace on that second block. Houston for three. And rebounded by Fike. Jamie Fike goes 6'9, 255 pounds. Originally a second round pick of the 76ers. Spent some time in the the CBA spent some time with Charlotte. He is currently on a 10 day contract with the Spurs. This is fight with the ball. Maxwell passing off the dribble. Beautiful pass for Monty Williams. And the Spurs lead 29 27. Eight points for Monty Williams, the former Nick. Houston for three. Buck Williams whipping it back out. Allen Houston having a lot of trouble finding the hole. Now takes it to the basket, rejected by Monty Williams. Maxwell for Alexander. Nice pass. And a foul committed by Buck Williams. Well, the team that played last night, the Spurs, looking a lot more active on the court here in the first half than the Knicks. They're playing crisply. Take a look at a wide open uh, Monty Williams under the basket. Wow, the Knicks really sleeping on that play. Well, John, we were talking earlier about, as you pointed out, what should be a sure shot victory for the Knicks. Get the feeling of the Spurs just horrendous uh, at the line. We're looking now at uh, four of the 11 at the line. Here's a look at the block by, by Monty Williams. But as the, as the game continues, you see the Spurs getting more and more confidence. So the Knicks are not into it. The Spurs playing with energy, and they now lead by three. Yes, uh, it, it's it's a it's an announcement that one team makes to the other that we're planning on winning. We're thinking we can win the game, and uh, that's what the Spurs are in the process of doing now. They're announcing to the Knicks that they can they've come to win this game, despite their very poor record. 
Buck Williams, John Starks, the touch pass to Charlie Ward. Nick shooting has been off. Buck Williams able to get to the offensive rebound. Adam Houston just two of seven. Couldn't do it off the dribble. Nick's having difficulty locating shots now. Here's Starks for three. Spurs are doing a terrific job contesting. Oh, Buck Williams with a big save. Oh, nice play by Monty Williams. Monty landed on his wrist, though. Knocked it away from John Starks. Williams hurting, although he's indicating that he wants to stay on the floor. And now he's fouled by Houston. It's amazing how a player, when he's hurt a little bit, when he gets in offensive position, shakes off that hurt and gets healthy fast. Battle the Bullets after MCS Cannon Game Night, Tuesday night on MSG. Roy Tin Cup McAvoy <laughs> is the best player to never hit the big time. It's an easy game, this golf. But ever since he met Dr. Molly Griswold, I think I'm in love with you. What? He's been changing his whole approach. I find him mildly attractive when he's obnoxious and arrogant like this. That's his best side. From the creator of Bull Durham. Kind of like the old days, isn't it? Kevin Costner, Rene Russo. I highly recommend the shovel. Tin Cup. Playing this month on Direct Ticket, only on Direct TV. You're a big basketball fan, and you like watching the big game, right? It's the second half of the season, and there are going to be a lot of big games you'll want to watch on the Little Dish. Well, with NBA League Pass on DirecTV Sports, you can watch up to 35 big regular season games a week. Watch up to eight great matchups a night. Catch the big-time rivalries, like when the Bulls battle the Knicks. The Rockets challenge the Lakers, and the Heat takes on the Magic, all for just three monthly payments of $33 each. Call 1-800-3414-DTV right now. And we'll throw in the season broadcast schedule and this NBA League Pass Direct TV jacket absolutely free. Call now because this offer won't last long. NBA League Pass on Direct TV. The little dish that's talking big sports. Well, Monty Williams is in uh, territory he knows well, former member of the Knicks, and he's working very effectively for his team, the Spurs, on that block of the John Starks attempt. And then he hits the floor after that big effort falls on the uh, hand, as you can see. And uh, it's the left hand, he seems, the wrist he seems to be favoring, but he shook it off and came back now at the foul line. Monty Williams with 10 points. Five rebounds, only two of five at the free throw line. The second free throw was good. Would have been a lane violation. But uh, apparently, well, Jamie Fike was called for a personal foul. Although the uh, the free throw does count, and the Spurs now lead by five. It's their biggest lead of the game. Knicks have missed their last six shots. Here's Larry Johnson. He got the step. Johnson going against the rookie Fike. With a, uh, a nice extension move, and then Anderson came over to commit the foul. This is the kind of game that the Knicks don't want to live on jump shooting. They want inside play despite uh, Ewing's absence because the Spurs don't have an imposing defensive presence underneath their defensive end. So Larry Johnson trying to expose that went strong to the basket while drawing this foul. It's been a poor shooting first half for the Knicks. Nine of 28, 32 percent while the Spurs have really come on in the second quarter. San Antonio leads by three. Larry Johnson just slipped, went down. Halfway through the second quarter. Shot clock at five. Alexander unleashing and hits the off-balance three with the shot clock running out. And the Spurs have to be thinking, well, maybe this will be our night. Sometimes shots and plays like that 
a good sign for a troubled team. Meanwhile, the, the poor Nick shooting continues. San Antonio with a 35 29 lead. Charles Oakley getting set to check back in. They double up on Maxwell. This is fight. Oh, look out. Buck Williams tying his shoelace. Charlie Ward taking that pass in a collision with Buck. For the Knicks four on five of the offensive end. Larry Johnson with the fake and hits. Cadillac Anderson was uh, numbed by that play by Larry Johnson. Cadillac 6'10 uh, didn't bother Larry too much. Spurs 35, Knicks 31. Set up for Monty Williams resulting in a holding foul. It is on Houston. And now Carl Herrera checks back in. Replacing Jamie Fike here is Oakley for starts. John starts leaving with uh, three points. Carl Herrera, as we mentioned earlier, playing with the protection for the broken nose. Spurs are doing a good job contesting the Knicks uh, shooters. Now, the Knicks aren't hitting their shots, but a part of that certainly is due to the good effort. And that's why John Starks, uh, for the first time that I can recall, Marv, in recent times, came into the game and, and didn't light things up right away. Uh, he was well played and, and played tightly. Monty Williams picked it up at the free throw line. Now five of eight after the poor start, and he has 13 points, five rebounds. Spurs have a six-point advantage. Monty only played five minutes last night in Philadelphia. Here's Ward. Pretty move by Jolly Ward. Monty Williams in the starting lineup with Sean Elliott, a late scratch with tendonitis in his knee. Elliott not playing tonight. Here's Monty Williams. Open shot for Oakley. So the San Antonio lead is down to two. We sort of think about going to Charles as a jump shooter a little bit more. He's kind of in the groove these days of scoring, so why not go to him some more? Timeout taken with 3.52 left, first half. Thank you. I've just had this most extraordinary phone call from Delta Airlines. It seems they have this intrepid team of meteorologists who spotted a weather problem ahead on my next flight. So they moved things around and then actually rang me up with a reroute. Now, instead of sitting and circling, I'll continue whining and dining and still stick to my schedule. Very civilized, wouldn't you say? Cheers. Here come the discount long distance sales reps again. They'd like some more of your precious time because if you've got a minute, they've got an offer of big savings over AT&T. Just one catch. That offer of big savings may show up at your door, but it won't show up on your bill. Has a discount long distance company offered you big savings? Call us for the facts. Well, the heavyweights are back at the Garden on Wednesday, February 12th, as former undisputed heavyweight champion James Buster Douglas continues his comeback at the Mecca of Boxing in Buster on Broadway. Buster, one of only two men to defeat Mike Tyson, will be joined on this exciting fight card by the king of the four-rounders, Butterbean. 
Tickets are on sale at the Garden Box Office in all Ticketmaster locations. That's Buster Douglas at the Garden on February 12th. Well, the Spurs now up to 45 percent. Knicks have not shot well here in the second quarter. Dominic Wilkins way off. It's Chris Childs who just returned. Chris Childs went back to the locker room earlier the second quarter. We're told he suffered a contusion of the left knee, but he is back on the floor. He also went in and got his jump shot mark. Right. As you just witnessed. Game is tied at 37. Shot clock at five. Down to one. And it is a 24-second violation. A little bit more intense play by the Knicks at the defensive end on that sequence. Knicks with Ward and Childs in the backcourt. Johnson, Oakley, and Williams up front. Here's Johnson. No hesitation tonight. Larry Johnson. Adding to the Nick run eight consecutive points. Larry Johnson is the high point man with 14. And the Knicks lead 39 37. Carl Herrera didn't believe Larry Johnson had a jump shot, and uh, he just learned something. Wilkins changed his mind and threw it away. Maxwell broke it up, recovered by Johnson. Oh, Larry Johnson. Having a terrific first half. Crowd responding. It leads to a San Antonio timeout, a 20 second timeout. Boy, you know what was impressive was this fling by Charles Oakley. It was the speed with which he was able to, get, to position himself to throw it. He, as he was going for the ball, he knew he was he was out of position to grasp it and throw it right away. Had to turn his body around quick, remind him of a shortstop on a, in a double play situation. And he moved real quickly and fired that ball to Larry Johnson, who made a nice recovery. 16 points for Johnson and the Knicks with a 10-0 run the last two minutes and 18 seconds. And uh, after going through the drought, they've hit their last six shots. So Larry Johnson, who has averaged only 12 points per game uh, by a good margin, an NBA career low, not taking as many shots, deferring for the most part. Patrick Ewing and other teammates, but uh, tonight with Ewing out of the lineup, Allen Houston has not had the touch. The offense uh, has been Larry Johnson and for San Antonio it's been Dominique Wilkins but uh, he has not been able to hit His last couple of shots and a loose ball foul against the Spurs. It is on Herrera that's three on Carl Herrera. Boy I remember Herrera as a much more burly physical presence. He really has trimmed down. He looks in terrific shape. But he shed a lot of weight over the last couple of seasons. Here's Monty Williams replacing Carl Herrera. The San Antonio offense has been Dominique Wilkins and Monty Williams. They have scored 25 of the Spurs' 37 points. And the matchup. Wilkins defending against Johnson. Shot clock at six. Up Williams had it poked away. Shot clock down to one and a foul. Buck was tripped up. Foul by Anderson. That's three on Anderson. And the Spurs are over the foul of it. So Buck Williams to the line. He missed his first two. At the line, Buck starting for the second straight game at center for the injured Patrick Ewing. Anderson with parts, placed by Jamie Fike. And Buck Williams has done the job here in the first half off the boards with eight rebounds, six offensive. Buck uh, did a terrific job on uh, his time with Hakeem Olajuwon the other night uh, of Houston. 
He didn't ring up big numbers in his 35 minutes, uh, but he was strong, had a big presence. He only took four shots as well. Minute and a half to go in the first half. Spurs had the lead for a good portion here in the second quarter. Knicks now lead 42-37. Avery Johnson. Spurs have missed their last six shots. Here's Ward setting it up for Oakley. And Johnson pops it back out. Charlie Ward beats Herman Maxwell off the dribble. You see why the Knicks can continue to succeed. There's no shot blocking around the basket I refer to. There's just no big defensive presence underneath the Spurs end. That's 13 straight points by the Knicks. And they lead by seven. Here's Williams. Fight. Oh, blow the layup. That was tipped. Last touch by Monty Williams. We're down to 33 and 7 10 seconds to go in the half. Coming up, the Tri State Jeep and Eagle halftime report. There is only one Jeep, and it's only at your Tri State Jeep. And Eagle dealer Bob Page will be at the sports desk. Timeout taken. Knicks 44, Spurs 37. It's a college hoops triple header with Penn State at Michigan, Xavier at St. Joseph's, and Providence at West Virginia all Saturday on MSG. There's a special magic in friendship, and it all comes alive on stage in the new family hit, Let's Be Friends, starring Jim Henson's Sesame Street Muppets. Friends, friends everywhere for us to meet. Sesame Street Live presents Let's Be Friends, the only show created for this special time in your young child's life. Don't miss it. Let's Be Friends. Let's Be Friends, February 7th through 23rd at the Theater at Madison Square Garden. Tickets available at the Garden Box Office and Ticketmaster. Welcome back to the Garden. Marv Albert with John Andres. 33 seconds to go in this uh, first half. Some shaky moments for the Knicks in the first half. But uh, they have responded well here in the second quarter with 13 straight points. And they now lead by seven. While the Spurs have gone cold last five minutes and 20 seconds, they have missed their last eight shots. A lot of that due, Marv, to the intensity that the Knicks have uh, presented defensively. They've lifted it up. And uh, that is also igniting, as it often does, the offense. Somehow, the chemistry is such when you play hard on defense, it triggers over to offense many times, and uh, that's what the Knicks are enjoying right now. Well, the Spurs have dropped their last five games, losing to Philadelphia, Sacramento, Minnesota, Milwaukee, and the uh, L.A. Lakers. They're 11 and 33, five straight losses, seven of the last eight. An injury batter team tonight without David Robinson and Sean Elliott, Will Perdue, Chuck Person recovering from back surgery, former Nick Charles Smith also out. It has been a very difficult season. This child's taking a uh, poke in the eye uh, the last time uh, the Knicks were on defense just a moment ago, but he's all right, able to shake it off. Charlie Ward again able to penetrate, and the Knicks now lead 46-37. Six points for Ward, and it's 15 unanswered points by the Knicks. I, I, I'm distracted also by John Stocks being on the bench while the Knicks are doing all these good things. Usually he's been the man off the bench so many times this year to light things up and put the game in the direction of the Knicks. Dominic Wilkins with a nice head fake and then moved into the crowd. He beat uh, Larry Johnson with the fake. And through the contact foul committed by Oakley. And I say make that point as a sign of health for the Knicks that they don't have to have John turn the game around in their favor lift the team up with energy it's happening with other people for a change Dominic Wilkins ends the 15 0 run 13 points for Wilkins Allen Houston is back 
nine and nine ten seconds remaining in the half. The Knicks lead 46 39. Houston played by Williams. Pops it out. Here's Childs for three. Yes! What a terrific decision by Charlie Ward. He could have taken the shot, did not have the same kind of angle, and took the chance of getting the ball to Childs with a second remaining. Here's another look at it. Same with uh, Houston here. He didn't force his shot up. And as you say, Marv, Monty, uh, or rather, Charlie Ward gives that ball up, and uh, good things happen for the Knicks here at the end of the half. And they conclude with an 18-2 run. The Spurs without a field goal. The last five minutes and 53 seconds of the quarter, missing their last eight shots. Ten-point lead for the Knicks at halftime. The Knicks battle the bullets after MCS Cannon game night, Tuesday night on MSG. A father and his son square off in a head-to-head half-court battle. The father, a former NFL star, can't stop his son. Hill gets the basket. What a terrific play by Grant Hill. Playing his dad made Grant Hill feel like he could do anything. But now, on court in the NBA, he can. Thanks, Dad. See the NBA's best every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday night on TNT and TBS. Don't miss a game. I will not stop until I've rid the world of every last one of you. I am the last one. Get ready for an adventure that will set your imagination on fire. Dennis Quaid and Sean Connery as Draco, Dragonheart. Playing this month on Direct Ticket, only on Direct TV. You got something Make me feel alright You got something <laughs> Make me stay home at night Listen up y'all, come on Every day and every night You're the one who know how to do it just right I said, oh, I love you so Reno, Nevada. Want to start your lives again? Let's do it. Divorce capital of the world. The place where Edie... Have you ever slept with an orangutan? And Penn... I miss him. ...were to leave their old baggage behind. In the tradition of Thelma and Louise comes Edie and Penn. Starring Stalker Channing, Jennifer Tilly, Scott Glenn, Martin Mull, and Randy Travis. Edie and Penn. Playing this month on Direct Ticket, only on Direct TV. This copyrighted telecast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of the NBA. You're watching the Tri-State Jeep and Eagle Halftime Report. There's only one Jeep, and it's only at your Tri-State Jeep and Eagle dealer. The New York Knicks use a late spurt to take a lead over the San Antonio Spurs 49 39 the Spurs at one point led by six you look at the records of these two teams and you say how can that happen well the Knicks finally got hot the Spurs did not they went almost six minutes without a field goal and did not hit their last eight shots thus the Knicks are up by 10 I'll be joined by Walt Clyde Frazier in a moment but first we go to Bob Page at the sports desk. Thank you, Al Hagen, everybody. The NBA All-Stars continue to drop like flies. Now Alonzo Mourning is out of Sunday's game due to a heel problem he's having. He's not going to play for the Heat tonight at home against Milwaukee. No truth to the vicious rumor that the Eastern Conference pivot position is now so sorely depleted that Stinka Dare has been added to the roster. In fact, Joe Dumars will replace. Speaking of the Nets, playing host to Indiana tonight. What do you know? They lead by three at halftime. John Calipari and the Nets have won twice against Indiana this year, but blew a 20-point lead lost to the Pacers Sunday at Indy. Late first quarter, Eddie O'Bannon with a rare nice move, but Indiana quickly inbounds it, and before you know it, Reggie's got the ball and buries a long three. He's got 16 points. Pacers led by an embarrassing 31-17 margin already. They were up 10 going into the second quarter, where the Nets suddenly came alive. Yes, look at Stinko with the nifty two-hand jam. The lead was down to three, and New Jersey eventually forged ahead. 
but never a dull moment with the Nets gang, who announced yesterday that Jason Williams would miss the next two months due to his continuing thumb problems. Today, during an appearance at the Fashion Cafe in Midtown, Williams told me he wouldn't miss any time at all. This is your decision. <laughs> this is strictly your decision. Well, I don't want any. It's definitely my uh, decision. Uh, John Calipari said it's my body. I can do what, it, what I want. But, you know, I don't want anybody to look down their nose at me and say that Jason Williams is not going out giving his all because I am. And um, I'm just Nobody would playing. ever say that about oh, you. Oh, Bob No, no nobody. Bob we know you. I, I'm going to get home, watch the Nick game tonight. I'm going to see you after, and I'm going to say, oh, my God. <laughs> look at him. He's saying, look, he's you, stealing money. No, he's going no, to, no. He's going up to the teller to cash his check like this. <laughs> and I'm Going. I've said that about a lot of New Jersey Nets, but I'd never <laughs> say that about you. All right, everybody. Jason has nine points so far tonight. Also today, ex-Knicks coach Don Nelson had another interview for the vacant Dallas GM position. The Bullets asked Denver for and received permission to talk to Bernie Bickerstaff about their vacant head coaching job. Bullets have activated Tim Legler, the reigning NBA three-point champion, who's missed the entire season so far, recovering from knee surgery. More in a moment. Good morning. I'd like to cash in my miles for one ticket to Paris, France. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Your miles have expired. I've been charging on my visa card for years to earn this trip, and now I'm going to have to pay for the ticket. <laughs> it happens. Paris. <laughs> visa says you're over your limit. Visa is everywhere you want to be. I told you what I've been through. Uh, I need a doctor. Je suis un espion. Espion? Espion! Espion! <laughs> but Visa, can you at least help me find the doctor? <laughs> How about a lawyer? Visa says they're everywhere, but American Express helps you with just about everything. So you can always do more. <laughs> I do not get French fashion. I'm a soft-spoken kind of guy. There's nothing more important to me than a quiet chat with my son Shaquille. I just marched through the phone and dialed 1-800-COLLECT. The money I saved him, he can use to buy some new backboards. Take it through the hole, Shaquille. He's gonna And they wonder where he gets it from. 1-800-COLLECT. Save the people you call up to 44%. The Texas Rangers say American League MVP Juan Gonzalez's thumb injury is more serious than thought. They'll know tomorrow just how bad it is. Jackie Joyner-Kersey and Gail Devers both have pulled out of the financially troubled Milrose game set for the Garden tomorrow night. The sponsors could not meet financial commitments to them. Much more in our full half-hour show later on tonight after the Knicks postgame report. Maybe you don't need to keep them out of your bedroom. Maybe you just need a bigger bed. The IKEA bedroom event going on now. <laughs> Maybe you don't need better balance, just a full length mirror. The IKEA bedroom event going on now. This card is for the very best stores. This card is for the very best hospitals. This card connects you to anyone, anytime. This card connects you to a registered nurse toll free anytime. This card's for your lifestyle. This card is for your life. Blue Choice from Empire Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Presenting the 40th winner of 1,000 a week for life. Clement Bedard of West Shazy, New York. These past Win for Life winners joined the celebration. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Women are going to fall all over you. You keep living, we'll keep paying. See you at the 50th. And Ward pumps it down to you. He's running the floor to Pete Bowling. You're watching MSG Network. We're all over it. This isn't my chair, it's your chair. Those are your kids, those are your frequent flyer statements. These are your people. Good morning, Mr. B. Good morning, Mr. B. You sit in this chair, you can find out anything. This your sales meet marketing budget. Margins are collapsing, tubing budget. But you're not in this chair. You're on a plane, and your people are all over the world. So how do you let everybody know what's going on right now, at this very second? Hey! 
profession as old as time. In the game of espionage, there are no rules. No safety. No way out. Your former team members, they've been assassinated. No place to hide. No one to trust. Hard way out. Playing this month on Direct Ticket, only on Direct TV. Some of our announcers' clothing is furnished by Harry Ellis Menswear. In 59 snappy minutes, the Spurs and Knicks complete the first half. Knicks lead by 10, and the scoring summary is brought to you by Jeep Grand Cherokee, the perfect combination of luxury, safety, and ruggedness, Jeep Grand Cherokee. For the Knicks, it's been Larry Johnson and little else. Chris Child follows his effort with eight, Allen Houston with six, Ward with six, Oakley with five. The story for the San Antonio Spurs is that they're not hitting their shots worse than the Knicks. The Knicks closed out the first half on an 18-2 run as the Spurs shoot just 37% from the floor. Off the bench, Dominique Wilkins can still play. He's got 14 points. Meanwhile, Williams, Monty Williams, the ex nick had 13. Al Trowick with Walt Clyde Frazier and Clyde. It so often happens in this league. A team comes in with a very bad record, and the team with a very good record plays down to their level. But the Knicks at the close of the first half showed that they are the much better team, I thought. Yeah, and the paradox is that their defense is their best offense, so they started to make some steals, and they started to thrive in the transition game. Larry Johnson had a very good first half. He'll be starring in our highlights, which are brought to you by Jeep Wrangler, the original top-down, fun-in-the-sun, on-and-off-road vehicle from Jeep. Clyde, two plays from Larry Johnson to look at, and you were quoted in some of the newspapers today saying you thought if the Knicks were ever able to beat the Bulls in a series, that he would be the key. Right. He he said vintage play tonight. That time a nice wheel and deal underneath. So LJ, 6'7", 260 pounds, and he's been omnipotent in the paint tonight, this time with the good stuff. So he must assert himself like this the rest of the season. He liked what you said about him. Dominique back from Europe into the NBA and with San Antonio off the bench these days. Boy, he still can flash. Yep, 26,000 career points and still going for more. That time to Matador D by the Oak Man. And how good it must feel for Monty Williams to come back to the Garden and have a first half like this. Outstanding game for Monty. He's 6'8", 225. This time an acrobatic move off the left side. Clyde, on behalf of all of us at MSG, enjoy your honorarium this weekend as one of the 50 greatest all-time players. And be good on the radio. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. He's well, Clyde Frazier. I'm Al Troutwick. You've been watching the Tri-State Jeep and Eagle Halftime Report. It's brought to you by the one and only Tri-State Jeep and Eagle Dealers. Did you reserve the car with Hertz? Not exactly, but it's a good deal. Are they as fast as Hertz? Not exactly, but what's the rush? We're on vacation! Yeah. Dad, are we lost? Hertz gives you computerized directions. Honey, this is not exactly Hertz, okay? I hope they have the same emergency road service as Hertz. It's not exactly. In Rent-A-Car, there's Hertz, and there's not exactly. Make sure you choose the right one. Are you sure this is the way to the hotel? Not exactly. Did you hear that? Bart and I are going to make you real happy. Right, Bart? Right, Phil. We're going to save you a lot of money. Right, Bart? Right, Phil. How? Whiz bucks, Bart. Giant size savings from Nobody Beats the Whiz. Giant size savings, Phil? Over $2,000, Bart. TVs, camcorders, computers, audio components, cameras, cellular phones, music and movies. Just cut out the whiz bucks and save money. Right, Phil? Right, Bart. Whiz bucks, a giant size way of saying Nobody Beats the Whiz. Witness the most spectacular sunrise in the world. You won't find it in the desert or on the boardwalk. Only here, greet the Mohegan Sun, a casino unlike anything you have ever imagined. Step into a bold new world where every detail is designed for the ultimate in non-stop excitement. Come, find your place in the sun. Discover the Mohegan Sun Casino, now open. One mile off Interstate 395 in Uncasville, Connecticut. What is that? It's pate. Are you sure? It's like a dip pate thing. Yeah, but what is it? Is it chicken? It's salmon. Salmon? But it looks like chicken. It's salmon. It's not flaky enough. It's, it's been, you know, minced to something. 
Yeah, well, what if it's liver? You mean foie gras? Yeah, whatever. Trust me, it's salmon. How do you know? It's pink. <laughs> salmon doesn't always have to be pink. New York Knicks basketball is brought to you in part by Hertz. For business, for pleasure, nobody does it exactly like Hertz. By McDonald's. Have you had your break today? And by Nobody Beats the Wiz Home Entertainment Center. This date in Knicks history is brought to you by Tommy Hilfiger, the classic American designer. February 6th, 1992, Knicks guard Mark Jackson dishes out a then career high 19 assists, just too shy of the Knicks club record set by Richie Guerin in 1958. Jackson's ability to penetrate leads to some easy baskets and the Knicks victory over the visiting Houston Rockets. This date in Knicks history has been brought to you by Tommy Hilfiger, the classic American designer. Moments away from the second half with the Knicks leading the San Antonio Spurs by 10. Moments ago, Nick P.A. announced that Mike Walshevsky made an announcement about the sharpest shooter of the month. Ladies and gentlemen, may we have your attention at center court where J.B. Collins, National Accounts Manager at Sharp Electronics, will present the Sharpshooter Award for the month of January. The Sharpshooter Award goes to the next player with the highest shooting percentage during the month. This month's recipient is John Wallace with an overall shooting percentage of 55%. The Sharp Electronics gift is presented at John's favorite charity. How about a big round of applause for Sharp and John Wallace for making it possible. In the month of January, he shot 36 of 66 to win the award. Let's go to Marvin John. All right, thank you, Al. Ten-point Nick lead as this third quarter gets underway. Good finish to the second quarter uh, by the Knicks, while the Spurs hit only three of 16 from the field. The steal by Allen Houston. Here's Chris Childs. Looks like Monty Williams got a piece of it. Avery Johnson opening up in the backcourt with Vinny Del Negro, Cadillac Anderson, Monty Williams, Carl Herrera on the front line. The Knicks finished up the second quarter with an 18 to 2 run. At one point, they had 15 consecutive points. Did not look pretty, but Anderson with his first field goal. The Knicks now lead 49 41. This after the Knicks were struggling in the early going. In 19 minutes of the first half, Cadillac Anderson did not take a shot. Foul on Herrera. That is his fourth as you check out the Toyota matchup. Larry Johnson, Dominique Wilkins uh, going at a lot of points out of those two. Johnson with a big, big half. Certainly his biggest of the year. His season high, his career high as a Nick, 28. Now Larry Johnson has 18 points. Del Negro able to tee it up. That was a two-point attempt. Next with Chris Childs and Alan Houston in the backcourt. Charles Oakley, Larry Johnson, and Buck Williams up front. Oakley posting up. A minute and a half gone by in the third quarter. It's a 24 second violation. Larry Johnson hesitated on that uh, three point attempt with the uh, shot clock running down. In the first half, the Knicks 46 percent shooting, able to pick it up with the uh, shooting in the second quarter, while the Spurs only 13 of 35, 37 percent of the Knicks with the edge off the boards, 26 19. Led by Buck Williams and Larry Johnson. That's Herrera. Carl Herrera has six points. And the Nick lead is now eight. Seven rebounds for Johnson, nine for Williams. Larry Johnson's uh, six for eight shooting in the first half, largely responsible for the Knicks 46% from the field. By far the most effective shooter for the Knicks in the first half. Monty Williams for Vinny Del Negro. Uh, Greg Popovich starting Vinny Del Negro in this 
second half alongside Avery Johnson. So Vernon Maxwell will be coming off the bench. Here's Houston. Beautifully done by Alan Houston. He has eight points. Maxwell unproductive in the first half. 21 minutes, one of four from the field. Earlier in the season, Maxwell was coming off the bench. He's been starting as of late. Off the drive by Herrera. Blocking foul on Houston. That's three on Houston. Knicks trying to make it a sweep of this two game season series. Knicks have won four in a row, seven of the last eight against San Antonio here in New York. El Negro. Knicks looking to run. The Spurs get back. Houston for three. job again by Buck Williams just keeping that ball alive and it was deflected out by Monty Williams. Head coach Greg Popovich. This is 27th game since taking over from Bob Hill. As Popovich took over the Spurs eight up and 18 down. Ironically Bob Hill's name has surfaced again uh, in relation to the Washington Bullets. Head coaching job Jim Lynham replaced yesterday after a very disappointing performance by the Bullets uh, thus far this season. What a difficult group well, that is. They certainly have the talent of Juwan Howard and Chris Weber and Rod Strickland. Buck Williams. Next now lead 55 45 and I I would think if Jim Lynham wants and I would think he does uh, he will also resurface a very highly regarded coach. And uh, there are, what, a couple of years on his contract? Yes, Jim's in that uh, fortunate, wonderful position <laughs> of having a year to hang out if he wants. But uh, with the intensity of NBA coaching and uh, the aspirations for continuation, why I'm sure he's dying to get going again. Off balance attempt by Houston. It is amazing to think that uh, Monty Williams on that short jump shot that a man can be presented with. Uh, well, we have to let you go, but you have your million dollars over the next 12 months, so uh, you know, try and get along. Well, the only thing is, is uh, Herrera picked up number five from the outside. You might think that, but uh, that's that's not even a thought. When, when a guy is is fired or you know, he leaves a job, he oh, he really is not even thinking of the money. Now, obviously, if he's gone. Uh, he's very happy to have the contract going, but I, I don't think he's, he's saying to himself, boy, I'm lucky. I'm oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm kind of relating it to maybe many of our listeners, perhaps, or the average person, you know. Who, well, who, wait a second, John. Our, uh, we have a very <laughs> high per capita situation here with our listeners. <laughs> Button Williams and the next lead, 57, 45. Actually, I'm relating to it personally, Marv. <laughs> if I have to be honest. That's more like it. <laughs> Five minutes gone by in the third. Oh, Williams got the step and uh, went up with that circus shot. And Anderson on fire. Second field goal. Cadillac now two of two, but waited until the second half to take his uh, first shots of the game. How many people have played with that nickname Cadillac <laughs> in situations like this. Johnson has been off in the third quarter. That was a three point attempt. So what I mean by that is you know after a quiet first half 19 minutes no shots no points. Maybe he's not what Cadillac stands for type thing you know he, he could come up with a lot of scenarios which I'm sure he has witnessed throughout his career. John always looking at the sales end of the brand name. Here's Del Negro. A poor shooting continues by San Antonio. Houston. And again Buck Williams with an offensive rebound. That's eight on the offensive class. Jeff Van Gundy wants to talk it over. 5.49 left in the third. It's the Knicks 57. The Spurs 47. W1 by Raymond Wilde.
the cutting edge in time. Time for the next generation. W1 by Raymond Weil. Lots and lots, tons and tons of tennis balls. Some of the things that are on my Discover card statement. I travel quite a bit. Ooh, I didn't know that the golf balls were on here. Just relax, enjoy nature, and uh, very good. Labidochromus, Coruleus. They don't want to play with me now because I beat them 90% of the time. I'll take out $100 to buy the bait, um, gas up the boat. How many credit cards make a statement like that? See, what else do I have on it this? It pays to Discover. Use it where you see the Nova sign. You come up with the money, or you bury your brother. The things that we hold close. You know where I can find you? Who are you? Cop? No, I'm his brother. Are worth fighting for. I can have your whole family murdered. One man must find his own justice. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Where there is none. Where can I find my brother? Ice Cube. You ready to die? I'm ready. Dangerous, Dangerous ground. ground. Rated R. Starts Wednesday, February 12th. Remember when you're having good times with good friends to drink responsibly because friends know when to say when. A reminder from your friends at Budweiser. Five forty nine left third quarter. Knicks with a ten point lead on the Spurs. A moment ago we were discussing the coaching change in in Washington. That is the fifth coaching change of the season Denver Phoenix San Antonio Vancouver recently with Stu Jackson replacing Brian Winters so Stu now coach and general manager and Jim Lynham departing for Bob Stack assistant coach Charles Oakley next down late 59 47 Oakley has hit two out of five seven points quiet night for Charles high point men for the next Larry Johnson with 18 for the Spurs. Dominic Wilkins with uh, 14 and Monty Williams with 13 points. And a foul. Buck Williams commits his second. Larry Johnson, uh, ever since Dominique Wilkins in the first half uh, went wild, Larry Johnson's done a good job of containing him now. He, he's really calmed down, Dominique, uh, who came out. Scoring uh, right off the bench in a big way in the first half. El Negro with the step. Monty Williams playing with so much confidence tonight. That time an offensive foul. Charles Oakley took the charge, but Monty in the past reluctant to take the shot. And uh, that was also the case uh, this season with. San Antonio back to his days with the Knicks. Earlier game against the Knicks, only two of eight, but he's looked good here tonight. Anderson with the rebound. Avery Johnson on the run. Isolation now. Larry Johnson hoping his help behind him. Illegal defense. And it's a technical foul. Awarded to the Spurs. Second illegal on the Knicks. So Vinny Del Negro will shoot the technical. Vinny Del Negro will shoot. Marv, I'd like to uh, say hello to a, certainly a friend of ours and someone very, a very important part of the Knicks organization, and that's. Uh, New York City Basketball Hall of Famer Fuzzy Levine who is recovering from surgery undergone last week. Uh, Fuzzy's been a Knicks scout for 21 years a valued member of this organization going back to the 50s in a scouting role now and prior to that a head coaching role assistant coach St. John's basketball man in his college days and all around good guy. so we hope Fuzzy's back on the scene real soon. Coming up on four minutes remaining in the third quarter as Avery Johnson sets it up. Shot clock running down. Monty Williams got it off. And the 
foul is called. Avery Johnson uh, grabbed Buck Williams. Otherwise, it would have been a slam dunk for the Knicks. Compliments of Buck. We're told, incidentally, Fuzzy Levine is recovering at St. Francis Hospital in uh, Port Washington. And I know he'd appreciate get well mes messages. Traveling violation is called. We Hoping that uh, we see Fuzzy back here at the Garden in a short time. San Antonio opened up 10 of 19, but since then, 7 for 28 from the field. The Nick defense has tightened up. They've been able to dig in from the second quarter on. They've done a good job. They lead by 11. Wilkins for three. Kept alive by Williams. So Monty Williams with 15 points. That had to feel especially good for Monty because he was in a jumping contest with other Knicks and he won that battle. The Knicks lead 59 50. Houston on a quick release. Three pointer for Allen Houston. He has 11. And the Knicks match their biggest lead of the night up by 12. Well, another clear out for Dominique who bangs hard into Buck Williams and commits the offensive foul. Buck moving those feet defensively just right. That's two on uh, Dominique Wilkins. There's a look at it now. Buck Williams got in position. Pretty impressive. Vernon Maxwell and Jamie Fike. Checked in with the Spurs. John Starks back on the floor for the Knicks. Last touch by Maxwell. Starks played only nine minutes in the first half, hitting one of four from the field. And a timeout is taken. Bart's going to show you how easy it is to save big money with whiz bucks. Let's clip them, Phil. Whiz bucks, a giant size way of saying nobody beats the whiz. A father and his son square off in a head-to-head half-court battle. The father, a former NFL star, can't stop his son. Hill gets the basket. What a terrific play by Grant Hill. Playing his dad made Grant Hill feel like he could do anything. And now, on court in the NBA, he can. Thanks, Dad. See the NBA's best every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday night on TNT and TBS. Don't miss a game. I think I did it. The experiment was a success. Who'd be interested in this technology? Cheap, abundant energy. Who wouldn't? Until someone terminated the project. Now, the only survivors... Someone set this up. ...have become the only suspects. So we don't trust anyone. ...from the director of The Fugitive. What are you doing? The best I can! Keanu Reeves, Morgan Freeman. Chain Reaction. Playing this month on Direct Ticket, only on Direct TV. Tonight, rest time for the Knicks. The All-Star break coming up. All-Star game in Cleveland on, on Sunday. Michael Kay talked about that with Nick coach Jeff Van Gundy. He talked about uh, Jeff getting some rest during this upcoming All-Star break. I am a little tired. I, I, I tell you what, moving over those 18 inches, you don't get quite as much sleep at night, I'll tell you that. But uh, I, I know that my, uh, I know I've reached a low point when my daughter, I come home and uh, she's 16 months, and every basketball game she points to the screen and says "da da," and then she folds her arms and scowls. So I know, I know, I know. Obviously, I'm not looking too good. So hopefully, better after the All-Star break. Well, as Allen Houston hits the three to make uh, Jeff Van Gundy feel even better about things, point out Jeff referring to moving over the 18 inches from his spot on the bench as an assistant coach to uh, head coach. It's uh, moving in following the departure of Don Nelson. 
And his Knicks now lead 65 50 as we come up on two minutes left in the third quarter. Last touched by the Knicks. On the subject of Don Nelson, his name resurfacing as a top candidate for the job of general manager of the Dallas Mavericks. Well, as uh, Don recently was quoted as saying, he is a lifer. So. How much can you take in Hawaii playing golf hanging out in the sun. I mean right. you get sick of that after a while <laughs> as Jimmy Lyon might find out over the next couple of months. Two minutes. Biggest lead of the night for the Knicks. Maxwell and the Knicks now lead 65 52 led by one of the quarter by 10 at the half. Ripped off that 18 2 run at the end of the First half. Oakley. Any kind of patience by the Knicks, and they are getting good looks at the basket. Hey, hey. Nice move by Vernon Maxwell, who's come on to hit uh, two straight. Knicks now lead 65 54. The Knicks come in at 33 and 14. They've won four of the last five. The two games behind Miami. Oakley. Oh, he did not like being held by Maxwell. That <laughs> Maxwell restrained by Johnson. Maxwell doesn't back down from anybody. And he just pursued uh, Charles Oakley after Oakley dispensed with his arm in a vigorous somewhat angry way. Oh they just bumped Oakley bumping Maxwell. Foul on Maxwell is second. And Oakley just shaking off Maxwell who didn't accept that. Miami Heat playing tonight in the third quarter they lead Milwaukee by 13 71 58 starts. Three point attempt rebounded by Wilkins. Maxwell for three. Way off. He'll show Oakley. Johnson. And foul. Foul on fight. Spurs now over the uh, foul of it. Corey Alexander coming on. Replacing Avery Johnson. It's Fike, Jamie Fike, the 6'9 uh, rookie from Michigan State. Larry Johnson, four for four at the line. He has had an outstanding game. 18 points, eight rebounds. His last 20 point game, November 12th, against the Sixers. That is career high as a Nick. 28 against Philadelphia. The Knicks now lead 66 54. That, ha that happened to be the only time uh, he, he led the Knicks in scoring this season and his only other a 20 point game. So Larry looking real strong tonight. And he's hit uh, 20 for the evening. 13 point Nick Lee. Alexander putting moves on Childs. Finding Williams. Here's Fike. And deflected out by Childs. So it will be San Antonio maintaining possession. 11 seconds remaining in the third. John Corey Alexander just called the one four play. Perhaps he can explain that to the fans. Well, it looks like a power call. It's going to be the uh, beneficiary being the four. The next one is on Chris Childs. His second. Childs. Call for the uh, the foul. Three and five ten seconds remaining. Fourth team foul on the Knicks. Here's Fike for three. We're seeing some ugly shots here in the third quarter by the San Antonio Spurs after three. The Knicks 67. The Spurs 54. Why? 
wise er. The only thing more shocking than the murder is the identity of the murderer. He saw. He saw nothing. He's a burglar. Who's gonna believe it? And the only man who knows the truth. Who is he? It's Luther Whitney. The man's a thief. A thief who witnessed a murder. Is the prime suspect. You wanna know what happened that night? We're not dealing with a fool here, are we? Clint Eastwood. I'm not about to run from you. Absolute power. Rated R. Opens everywhere February 14th. All junky antique shops. I, I like. You want me to tell you what my Discover card statement oh, says? Just little things that make a girl sing. <laughs> I have fish and I have birds and I have dogs. Mangoes. Cecilia Bartoli and something by Puccini. Floridita Cuban restaurant. Fabulous. I stuck to my diet a little bit. That cash bonus thing at the end. How many year. credit cards make a statement like that? I live a little. It pays to discover. Use it where you see the Nova sign. MCS Service and Canon Technology. Let us show you the possibilities. New York Knicks basketball is brought to you in part by the United States Postal Service. We deliver smart solutions for you. By MetLife. Get Met. It pays. And by Cafe Pacific, the heart of Asia. Back in Madison Square Garden with legendary Red Holtzman, the coach of the West rookie team. You're going to go up against Red Auerbach, who's going to coach the East as part of the All-Star festivities in Cleveland this weekend. Red, are you going to teach these young whippersnappers well, a thing or two? I don't know if I'm going to have that much time, but from what I understand, there's a lot of good players on both teams. What do you think you will actually do in administering the game? Just have a good time? Well, I think have a good time. Just let them take the flow of the game, maybe give them a few little things to do, but... Basically, the kids know what to do, and we'll let them, we'll let them have some fun. Red, you've had so many uh, causes to celebrate the history of the NBA, your role in it this season, getting together with Red, Red Auerbach recently here at Madison Square Garden. Have you learned anything about your old arch enemies as now they're friends? <laughs> well, they seem a lot nicer now. They don't seem to, take, to have so much hate and animosity for the New York bad guys. <laughs> but they're mellowed, all of them. And they were a great team. You have to give them credit for they played the game right. Finally, can you uh, characterize the game that we're watching here tonight? Well, it's, you know, it's a game where both teams have a lot of guys out. And uh, to their credit, uh, San Antonio is playing very hard. But, uh, you know, I think we outman them a little bit. We've got a few more plays coming in. We've got guys hurt, too. But, but you know, we got a pretty good team. And to compete against us, they need the big guy and some of the others. Yes, okay, Red, thanks a lot. We'll be back at Madison Square Garden with the Knicks leading 72-54 in the fourth. If you're just rolling out of bed, do not look outside. Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo offers an available V8 and full-time four-wheel drive. On the way, buses are running behind. Anti-lock disc brakes and dual airbags. Getting through. It's very cool. Plus a lease rate of just $349 a month. All in all, it's a great day. Making Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo greatly underappreciated by school kids everywhere. See your tri-state Jeep and Eagle dealer. Everyone hopes their financial future will be smooth sailing. What you need is MetLife. We know the hazards and offer financial information and sound advice to help you rise above them. We'll help you make sense of it all. Get met. It pays. Every day, lots of people choose FedEx to take their two-day packages. Cost? About $8. Every day, lots of people choose UPS to take their two-day packages. Cost? About $6. Every day, lots more people choose the U.S. Postal Service to take their priority mail two to three day packages. Cost, three dollars. So, eight, six, three, what's your priority? Priority mail from the U.S. Postal Service. Well, when the Spurs and Knicks meet, you usually expect the battle between Robinson 
and Ewing. Now with them missing, let's see what's going on with the Knicks without Ewing. Over the years, whenever he's missed games, they're 11 and 8, 2 and 1 this season without Patrick. With the Spurs, it's dramatically different. 15 and 40, 8 and 30 this season. The 15 and 40 pertaining to uh, whenever he's out as a member of the Spurs. So it's a dramatically different situation. The Spurs uh, missing David Robinson, who last year was the fifth leading scorer in the NBA while starting and playing in 82 games the entire season. He was the second leading rebounder and third block shots last year in the NBA. So they miss offense and defense without Robinson. Allen Houston with the three and the Knicks now lead 75 57. And the shooting is picked up Alexander with his third three point field goal of the night. Knicks now lead 75 to 60. Bullet pass could not be handled by Buck Williams. 9.49 remaining in the fourth quarter. Knicks by 15. On the subject of David Robinson, he's played only six games this season. Bothered by the foot injury and a lower back problem. I was talking with Kobe Dietrich as uh, Maxwell unleashes the uh, three point attempt. Rebounded by Fike. Here's Maxwell. And now the Knicks look to run, but the uh, Spurs able to get back. Beautiful look away. Ward for Oakley. Knicks now lead by 17. Kobe Dietrich, one time a backup center for the Spurs, now handling the uh, telecast for the San Antonio Spurs, telling me that the feeling is, as Wilkins is fouled by Oakley. That David Robinson has been suffering back problems over the years, aside from what takes place uh, on the court. Uh, he is a, a, a computer nut. And you know, he's constantly sitting down and leaning over. He feels that contributes. And here's uh, Kobe on the left, Ron Thulin, the uh, play by play announcer, with uh, Kobe handling the color. Also, the fact that he plays the piano contributes. Do that. Do we know any other players in the NBA would have a back problem from a combination of computers and piano playing? <laughs> we don't. I say that definitively, Bob. Yes. We do not. But the uh, the lower back problem contributing uh, to uh, Robinson uh, sitting out, and they're certainly hoping that he eventually returns. Houston gets the wall. And the Knicks now lead 79-62. I remember years ago when Larry Brown was coaching the Spurs and chatting with him before the game about uh, Robinson, who had not really shown uh, a rival at his potential. In fact, probably many people say he still hasn't, but uh, he certainly has grown to be a giant in the NBA. But he said, here's a guy who, who at one point in his life didn't know whether he wanted to be a naval officer for his career or a concert pianist much less a professional athlete so David Robinson's had a lot of choices with his many talents well obviously a very gifted player one of the best centers in NBA history is Wilkins on the break foul it counts starts with the foul Wilkins to the line but there's been a question as to where basketball stands in terms of his priorities uh, it may not be his top interest and there are some coaches who feel that it must be his top interest if he is to excel. David Robinson had a very poor playoff run last season. That also has been the, uh, the criticism. And some say he plays soft, particularly at playoff time. But on the other hand, uh, his value has certainly been seen uh, with uh, David out of the lineup. This is an expansion team. And it's been a consistent pattern in recent years. Strong regular season for the Spurs. And then elimination from the playoffs the last six years featuring three first round exits. Two losses in the Western semifinals and uh, a loss in the Western finals. For example John last season 59 and 23 they win the Midwest in the playoffs they knock off Phoenix but in the Western Conference the semis they lost to Utah in six and it was over. the foul on Oakley. That's number five. 
I think one of the great David Robinson stories that I ever heard, Mark, this may take a minute, so. Uh, we can handle it. But it involved Charles Smith after he joined the Spurs. And Charles is a very religious guy, as is David Robinson. And apparently before each game, player would make a uh, little prayer before the game. And they were playing the Nets, as I recall, before the game. And Charles Smith asked if he could say the team prayer before the game. Vinny Del Negro getting fouled there. That's a little play by play as we go along. And uh, Smith, um, uh, uh, David Robinson, as the captain, said, uh, Charles, let me hear. Let me hear the uh, prayer you're going to you're going to give. Actually, it was before a big game. Excuse me, before a big game. Is this a put down of the Nets? No, no, no. First no. to say Nets, well, and then well, well, it was a I'm big getting, game. I'm getting I'm twisting it around. I didn't rehearse this, as you can tell. But Robinson said, before you say the prayer to the team, I want to hear what it is because this is a big game tonight. So Smith gave his offering of the prayer and told David, you know, as he would deliver it to the team. And Robinson heard it and he shook his head and said, No, save that for the Nets. This is a very big game tonight. It would have been a good story he had you not, a better one. Yeah, had, had you not messed up the punchline. <laughs> I mean, that would have been that would have been would have been excellent. Well, I don't get paid for telling jokes, Marv, as you can tell, but uh, I thought it was a cute story anyway. Well, it, it would have been. It was a little disjointed. Had it been developed correctly. Well, we've got a game going on here, so we can't take too much time. All right, here's Johnson. That didn't stop you. <laughs> and Buck Williams is fouled. Buck Williams, incidentally, with 16 rebounds, and that is a season high nine on the offensive boards. As you can tell, uh, Buck Williams has earned a shower tonight as he profusely perspires during this, as usual, great effort that he puts forth. John with a keen observation. <laughs> I'm reaching, Marv. The Knicks 80 and the Spurs 67. Buck now has eight points. 7-13 remaining in the fourth quarter. Avery Johnson, Vinny Del Negro at the guards. Carl Herrera, Monty Williams, Cadillac Anderson up front. Bad pass. Here's Buck. Starks. Fouled by Herrera. That Buck. will not go down as one of the uh, the pretty fast breaks. Buck couldn't stand it. He was smiling when the Stocks followed his uh, recovery of that basketball. So Herrera has fouled out. It's number six. And uh, sits down. Six points, four rebounds. For Carl Herrera replaced by Jamie Fife. John Starks shooting two. There's a Marriott Marquis. Look at the last play. Buck Williams uh, letting that ball get out of his hands. You can see who is broken up in laughter as John Starks tried to make something out of it. New York Marriott Marquis, Broadway's biggest hit. The Knicks now lead 83-67. Now Williams guarded by Starks. Another rebound for Buck Williams, number 17. Starks got the step. Knicks working around nicely though. Here's Starks for three. Buck Williams able to race it down. Starks again. Rebounded by Childs. Another offensive rebound. Starks shook his head saying no. <laughs> Ward for three. And Anderson gets to that rebound. Just under six minutes left in the fourth. Starks intercepts. Three on one. Childs lost it. It counts, and the foul. Rick Anderson with the bucket. Foul by Buck Williams, so Cadillac to the line. Cadillac with a hoop under the basket. 
Nice spinning move. We haven't seen much of that tonight from Cadillac Anderson. Pass inside. Wide open Anderson with the finish. Three point play. And the Knicks now lead 83 70. Five and a half to go in this fourth quarter. Miami now leading Milwaukee by 11 early in the fourth. Coming into tonight, Miami two games in front of the Knicks. Here's Starks for three. Yes! Well, John Lyon drives it home. Knicks now lead 86 70. John had some good legs under him on that shot. He really projected himself well. Ten points for Starks. Here's the double on Del Negro. And he forced one up. Childs. Not even an attempt by the Spurs to fight through that Larry Johnson pick. Charles got a good open look at the uh, basket. Nice pass from uh, Williams. Fike missed the tip. Williams. Foul. Very aggressive game for Monty Williams in his third season out of Notre Dame. Began his NBA career as a number one draft pick of the Knicks. Rick Popovich, head coach of the San Antonio Spurs, head coach slash general manager. Well, following the All Star break, the Knicks will play at Landover against the Bullets. That'll be next Tuesday night. Knicks have won three of three convincingly against the uh, Washington Bullets. And uh, they've taken 19 of the last 20 against the Bullets. And then the Knicks are home next Thursday. Jerry Stackhouse, Allen Iverson, and the Philadelphia 76ers here at the Garden. A week from tonight. Now to four minutes remaining in the fourth. Here's Charlie Ward. That was one of those, will I pass it off as I take to the air, or will I take the shot? And he, he drew the foul. Anderson with number four, and Ward, who's played well, will head to the line. Knicks have certainly shared the basketball tonight. In their half-court offense, they have been reversing the ball, moving it over and over again to the open people. They got into a good habit early, and they kept it. Upcoming Knicks schedule following tonight the all-star break Tuesday as you mentioned Marv a moment ago at Washington MCS Cannon game night at seven and then the uh, Sixers will be here on Thursday and then we get a look at the Indiana Pacers the following Sunday for a night game the Knicks now lead 88 71. They double up on. Williams Johnson Avery Johnson with a very quiet game foul is committed by Larry Johnson the official David Jones saying stay right here Knicks are over the foul limit so Anderson will go to the line Greg Cadillac Anderson in his ninth year out of the University of Houston a well traveled individual has played for six NBA teams and uh, this is his second go around with the Spurs you mentioned Avery Johnson a moment ago looking at all the statistical uh, uh, breakdowns in the NBA scoring rebounds assists field goals all the many areas the Spurs have only one man in the top 20 in all these categories. Actually, nine different categories, and that's assists. He's 10th uh, in the NBA, but nobody else is up there. Starks' pass broken up. Recovered by Johnson, finding Starks. The ball movement has been very successful in the second half. The Knicks now by 18 with three minutes. Remaining in the fourth. 
Williams putting the brakes on, hitting. The basket counts, and he was fouled. So 18 points for Monty Williams, and a timeout is taken with 2.57 remaining in the fourth. Rutgers heads for Miami to battle the Hurricanes in a Big East Conference showdown. Saturday night, right here on MSG. Roy Tin Cup McAvoy <laughs> is the best player to never hit the big time. It's an easy game, this golf. But ever since he met Dr. Molly Griswold... I think I'm in love with you. What? He's been changing his whole approach. I find him mildly attractive when he's obnoxious and arrogant like this. That's his best side. From the creator of Bull Durham... Kind of like the old days, isn't it? Kevin Costner, Rene Russo... I highly recommend the shovel. Tin Cup. Playing this month on Direct Ticket, only on Direct TV. You're a big basketball fan, and you like watching the big game, right? It's the second half of the season, and there are going to be a lot of big games you'll want to watch on the little dish. Well, with NBA League Pass on DirecTV Sports, you can watch up to 35 big regular season games a week. Watch up to eight great matchups a night. Catch the big time rivalries, like when the Bulls battle the Knicks. The Rockets challenge the Lakers, and the Heat takes on the Magic, all for just three monthly payments of $33 each. Call 1-800-341-4DTV right now, and we'll throw in the season broadcast schedule and this NBA League Pass Direct TV jacket absolutely free. Call now because this offer won't last long. NBA League Pass on Direct TV. The little dish that's talking big sports. Well, last season when the Spurs and Knicks uh, met here at the Garden, uh, a different type of ball game, different type of ending. Knicks up by three. They intentionally foul Sean Elliott, who was able to hit the uh, first free throw, and then, as you see, uh, Elliott cuts it down to 103-101, then purposely misses the second. It comes back to Elliott, and able to hit at the buzzer to tie the game, and uh, it went to overtime, eventually to double overtime. And with uh, Ewing, Oakley, and Mason, Anthony Mason all fouling out, the Knicks still won at 118 to 112, despite 45 points for uh, David Robinson, the subject of a Coke classic play. But it has been a convincing Nick performance here tonight with uh, two and a half remaining. They now lead 90 to 74. Buck Williams. Lost the handle. Knicks did have some concern early. And then straightened things out in the second quarter. Had the, the good close with an 18-2 run at the end of the second quarter. And the Spurs only 3 of 16 from the field in the second. Nice move by Alexander. Here's Anderson. And a holding foul is called. As an example, if you're a big man, why you don't dribble the ball when you're around the basket. Had Anderson one gone right up for it, he would have had a better shot attempt. Anderson to the line. Let's check in with Bob Page at the MSG Sports Desk. It's going right down to the wire, apparently at the Meadowlands Arena. Late in the fourth quarter, Reggie Miller drains this three-pointer. That put the Pacers up by four at the time. And now it's Indiana by two late fourth. We'll keep you posted. All right, thank you, Bob. Anderson missing the first, hitting the second. Crowd reacts as Buck Williams sits down. Nine points and 19 rebounds. Season high, 19 rebounds for Buck Williams. Here's Childs hitting the three. He has 11, and the Knicks now lead 93 75. Scott Brooks getting set to uh, come on. Scott has not played the last five games. Reach-in foul is called. We'll also see Walter McCarty for the first time in seven games. Here's Brooks. So Larry Johnson and Chris Childs are replaced. Strong game for Johnson. 20 points, nine rebounds. Childs with 11 points. 
He had seven rebounds as the Knicks crushed the Spurs off the boards. And now John Wallace returns. Charles Oakley with nine points. Well, Chris Childs with the wide open shot made it look easy and then went to the bench and uh, got some nice acclaim from the fans as he sat down after a good effort. Alan Houston the high man for the Knicks with 22 followed by 20. Larry Johnson Starks. Last touch by Fike. In the assist column Charlie Ward leading the way with eight. High point man for San Antonio Dominique Wilkins with uh, 19 had the good first half but problems on the second half five of 14 from the field overall. Wallace coming up short minute and a half to go in the game. Here's Alexander. That's his fourth three pointer of the game. Statistician Dave Free pointing out the line of the night. Statistically, the rookie Jamie Fike, John 0 for 9 in the field. But he does have 10 rebounds. So there's uh, some good and some bad mixed in right. there, huh? It's now lead by 13. And here's Fike rejected by McCarty. Anderson able to put it home. And the Knicks now lead 93 82. So fight old for 10. Knicks lead at 93 82 with 35 seconds to go. Brooks for three. Yes. That's great. And the Knicks teammates of Scott Brooks enjoyed that. John Brooks with his fourth three pointer of the season. Four of seven, and uh, Scott goes to flying. As he commits the foul, that uh, again <laughs> enjoyed by his teammates. Scott Brooks, very popular player, very scrappy guy. He can play, has not obviously received the, the playing time uh, this season, but. As we have seen over the years in his days with the Houston Rockets and the Philadelphia 76ers, uh, he can shoot. And uh, his assistant trainer Tim Walsh lending a hand. Yes, he's making use of this every second he gets uh, right now. Scott Brooks has been noticed. Cardi dribbling into a crowd and lost it. And here's another opportunity for Fike, and he finally comes through with a field goal. Missed his first 10 shots. 96 84 final seconds. God wanted Starks to put one up from there. And uh, that will do it. Solid performance by the Knicks. And uh, a nice way to head to the All Star break as they defeat the Spurs 96 to 84. And they go to 34 and 14. They are for the moment a game and a half behind the first place Miami Heat. Miami leading uh, Milwaukee by 12 in the latter stages of the uh, fourth quarter. And the Knicks sweep the uh, season set over the Spurs. They win two out of two while San Antonio now has lost six straight. They are 11 and 34. Back to wrap it in a moment. Just launched rockets into space. What about the holes in the ozone wall? 
Today, through distance learning, MCI can launch entire schools. Last year, for the first time in history, winter storms stopped everything cold. Corporate America, the United States Post Office, even our government. Everything that is except Da Vinci's Pizzeria. This is crazy! Which had enough sense to drive the unstoppable legendary Jeep Grand Cherokee. For only $3.49 a month, you should too. After all, history has a way of repeating itself. What a lousy tip! See your tri-state Jeep and Eagle dealer. What does it feel like in the new club world, tilting cradle seat? What does it feel like to go through club world fast track arrivals in London? We have arrived at the All-Star break, and the Knicks can enjoy their time off. 96 to 84, they put a little bit more misery into the lives of the San Antonio Spurs. They have lost six straight games now. Patrick Ewing missing his fourth game because of the pulled groin, announcing he'll miss the All-Star game too. Big smile from him as he sat at the end of the bench. Allen Houston played well. Larry Johnson, Buck Williams, John Starks. Got a little chilly as he came into the game off the bench, but hey, for the first half of the season that he's had, he's entitled to a four for 11 nights. And so the New York Knicks do exactly to the San Antonio Spurs what the records say they should do. They should blow up on this team in spite of the fact that they don't have Patrick Ewing. In his absence, by the way, the Knicks have gone three and one. Bob Page is standing by now at the MSG Sports Desk. I'll be joined by Michael Kay out of the clubhouse, plus we'll have a member of the Knicks as a guest. Mike's got an update, or Bob's got an update right now downstairs. Bob? All right, Al, first of all, at the Meadowlands Arena, the Nets Pacers game is now in the final minute. It looks like Indiana is going to win. They're on top of the Nets by the score of 102 97. We will have the final score for you coming up on the Knicks post game report. And then later on in our half hour show, right after the post game show, we'll be talking with the Nets' Jason Williams, who suddenly today decided he wouldn't be out of action two months, as the Nets reported yesterday. In fact, he's playing tonight against the Indiana Pacers despite his thumb problems. We have a lot going on college basketball tonight, and an upset in the MAC, Manhattan. Manhattan has defeated Iona 98 to 89 in overtime. We'll have highlights and post game interviews from that game. We'll also have highlights of Maris contest in Poughkeepsie tonight. They came from behind in the second half against Robert Morris and won 60 to 57. We look back at John Andreas's feature. We aired on the pregame show this evening on X Nick. Nate Sweetwater Clifton had the latest in Major League Baseball, and we look at the Rangers evening. They were busy tonight at Rockefeller Center and tell you about a trade that the Rangers made today as well. Those stories and much more again on our half hour show right after the Knicks post game report. Back to the garden. <laughs> Maybe you don't need better balance, just a full length mirror. The IKEA bedroom event going on now. My mommy is underwater. I'm a ninja. Maybe you don't need better kids, just a taller dresser. The IKEA bedroom event going on now. I've never been to Las Vegas. Welcome to my town. Check into my hotel. It's a pyramid. Look at this place. This is amazing. See the lights, the shows. There are lots of great shows in Las Vegas. I found out a new code. 24-7. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And they're not kidding. Never sleep. Totally amazing. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to rest when I get, you know, back to work. Clint Eastwood. He's gonna run my cow. Then what? Then I kill him. That's entirely unacceptable. Absolute power. Rated R. Opens everywhere February 14th. It was the 198th consecutive sellout at Madison Square Garden tonight, and the Knicks rode on an 18-2 run at the end of the first half and just held on to the lead they built up, which was 10 at halftime. They win this one by 12, 96-84. Larry Johnson with only his second 20-point game as a member of the Knicks. He shoots 7 of 13, 9 rebounds, 2 assists. 
getting very much involved from the beginning of the game. And he's our Marriott Marquis player of the game. Larry Johnson's numbers there, nine rebounds, 20.7 of 13. Marriott Marquis is Broadway's biggest hit. And Larry joins us here courtside. Larry, congratulations on a very, very positive ending to, I guess, the mental first half of the season. It's not truly the first half, but the All-Star break makes it sort of that. Yes, it does. Um, we wanted to uh, go into the All-Star break with a little momentum, and uh, we really wanted to win these last two ball games here at home. And uh, I thought we did a real good job, and hopefully when we come back out of the All-Star break, we'll be more healthier, we'll be more uh, fresher for us, not only physically, but mentally, and we'll have a end up the season on a good note. Larry, can you tell me what you thought about tonight's game in, in terms of how you guys played? I thought that we did a real good job of moving the ball around and not only not um, settling for outside jump shots, but taking the ball from one side to the other side to inside. And that was one of the things that uh, Coach Van Gundy stressed this whole week is not only just to reverse the ball, but once we get it reversed, to go inside. And I think we did a good job of doing that tonight. Tell me about the ball movement. There was a lot of it. Yeah, I know uh, we, we're getting to know each other extremely well now. We're getting to understand each other, where, where each other likes the ball. We understanding that guys like to shoot off the dribble, guys that like to shoot fl uh, standing still, and we're moving the ball around real well uh, as the season go along. I've got the stat sheet in my hand here, and it says Larry Johnson, 20 points. Does that matter at all? Uh, Knicks get a win. That's the, that's the foremost. You know, this whole season has been a... Uh, a learning experience for me coming into a new situation doing some new things concentrating on some new things but all in all it, it never and it never it, nothing never changes with Larry Johnson Larry Johnson is out to win the ball game and the bottom staff for me is my team win the ball game what are you going to do during the break um, Coach Van Gundy asked that question and, and, and what he wants to hear is everybody thinks about Washington during the break so I'm going to think about Washington during the break you mean the next game after the break <laughs> right. right you give it a few minutes at least <laughs> hey, Buck Williams tonight was unbelievable hey, huh? you know, uh, I, I, I enjoy Buck man I enjoy to see him have a game like that because he's not only a great basketball player he's a extremely extremely hell of a guy off the court he's just one of the one of the best person people person that's in this league and he's a wonderful person and then he has skills and he plays so hard he's dedicated to the game he's gave his life to this game and it's, it's, it's just good to see Buck have a great game and him to be recognized for it. All right, thanks a lot for your time for coming out of the locker room. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, Larry Johnson helps lead the Knicks to a 12 point victory tonight. We'll take a look at the leading scoring summary. Larry Johnson will be at the top of that for the New York Knicks. It is brought to you by your Tri-State Jeep and Eagle dealers. There's only one Jeep and it's only at your Tri-State Jeep and Eagle dealers. A lot of fans have stayed here inside the garden and they cheer Larry Johnson's exit. He's up there sharing the uh, headlines of this game with Allen Houston, who shot the ball 8 of 17. That's good for him. 22 points, 3 assists, 3 rebounds. John Starks had 12 off the bench. Started cold, found it a little bit later, got 24 minutes, 4 of 10 from the floor. After that, Chris Childs had 11 points, overcoming a bruised knee to continue to play in this game. Childs had 7 rebounds, 3 assists tonight for the New York Knicks. The Knicks' leading assist man, by the way, was Charlie Ward with 9. San Antonio Spurs shoot a very very measly 35 percent from the floor Dominique Wilkins got most of his points in the first half finished with 19 shooting 5 of 14 off the bench Monty Williams played well in his return to Madison Square Garden the ex Nick grabbing eight rebounds passing off for three assists scoring 18 points after that it was Alexander Anderson and Maxwell for the San Antonio Spurs Larry Johnson involved down low involved for the New York Knicks offensively involved defensively as well and the Knicks take the victory to the all star break as we go to break on MSG. Precious Hotline, what's your problem? We're stuck with Skunky Beer. So it's not Budweiser? No. Remain calm, sir. We're on our way. Next time, look for this. New Born on Dating from Budweiser, because fresh beer tastes better. Precious Hotline. Could we order some Chinese? Science! Hey, want to see some cool things? Where? At the Smithsonian. From famous flyers! To four-wheelers. Tucker made 51 of these cars. Washington sold. Rocket ships. Dizzy Gillespie's trumpet. Lizard lips. The Smithsonian. Discovered. And Discover Card is proud to be partners in the anniversary celebration. Jaws. How many credit cards make a statement like that? Presenting the 40th winner of 1000 a Week for Life.
Clement Bedard of West Shazy, New York. And he won at Pete's Country Store, where past Win for Life winners gathered to celebrate this momentous occasion with him. They cheered him. Yay! They congratulated him. Welcome to the club. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Women are going to fall all over you. And they advised him. Do yoga. Hey, Clement, you keep living, we'll keep paying. See you at the 50th. Hiya, Diane, it's Dad. Hi, Dad. Just wondering how you're doing in your new home. Great. Uh, I wanted to remind you to get a spare key made and, and let me know if there's anything that needs fixing, all right? All right, sweetheart, bye. Hi, Dad again. I, uh, I forgot to tell you something. Diane, I, I am so proud of you. For a free guide that can help you on the path to homeownership, call the Fannie Mae Foundation. We're showing America a new way home. Bart's going to show you how easy it is to save big money with whiz bucks. Let's clip them, Phil. Whiz bucks, a giant-sized way of saying nobody beats the whiz. Back one more time at Madison Square Garden. The final score, 96 to 84. The Knicks uh, continue to do well at Madison Square Garden. We'll be back with the Knicks post-game report. But to wrap up our game coverage, we go to Marv Albert. Marv? All right, thank you, Al. As uh, the Knicks uh, now look for some rest uh, over the uh, course of the All-Star break and then resume against the Bullets. On Tuesday night at Landover, MCS Canada Knicks game night will get it going at the 7 o'clock. And the Knicks and the Bullets at 7.30. Knicks have won the previous three games against Washington, 19 of the last 20 overall. The Knicks postgame report coming up. We'll hear the comments of uh, Knicks head coach Jeff Van Gundy. Closed captioning has been brought to you by Empire Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the best of health. So the Knicks go to 34 and 14. They remain two games behind. First place, Miami. The Heat defeating Milwaukee. Uh, in Miami 102 to 90 of the Knicks have won five of their last six 17 of the last 18 here at home. This is Marv Albert along with John Andre saying so long from Madison Square Garden in New York Al and the post game is next. New York Knicks basketball has been brought to you by Brewery Fresh Budweiser who reminds you fresh beer tastes better by Payne Weber. When you invest with Payne Weber, you invest with more intelligence. By AT&T, your true choice. By British Airways, the world's favorite airline. And by Fannie Mae Foundation, showing America a new way home.